see the kingdom of God, we came to you as a warning from God. To repent of your evil ways, Cincinnati, repent of your marijuana, your sexual lewdness, repent of your homosexuality, and all these abominations are going to send you to the lake of fire. We're here to warn you of the wrath of God. John the Baptist said, every tree that doesn't bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. You're soon to be destroyed. If you die in your sin, you will be cast into hell. The Bible says you'll weep, you'll wail, you'll gnash your teeth. The Bible says the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that have sinned, and they which do iniquity. That means sin. And they'll be cast into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. That's your future. But the righteous shall shine forth in the kingdom of their Father. They're going to shine forth as the Son in the kingdom of their Father. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Do you hear the Lord calling you today? This might be your last day. If you die having sex outside of marriage, you go to hell. If you die smoking weed, you go to hell. You need to be forgiven. You need to be set free. You need to be a child of God. The Bible says that he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil in your life, the sin in your life. He's, he's pointing you out. He wants you to go to heaven. He came to convict you of your sin today, to make you feel bad about doing evil so that you don't go to hell, so that you can make an edu educated decision to not go to hell today. Amen. That's your choice. God puts it in your hands. It's heaven or hell when you die. Judgment day is coming soon. Judgment day is coming soon. Repent and get right with your Creator. Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God and man. He's the only way to heaven. He said that I am the way, yeah. I am the truth, and I am the life. Amen. No man cometh to the Father but by me. You can't get through Muhammad. You can't get through... Through Buddha, all this is nonsense. You need the living Word of God. The Bible is able to set you free. The Bible is what makes a man alive. If you believe it, you will obey it. Uh, but if you go along with the world, you'll perish with the world. The Bible says, so Do not be deceived. Whatever a man sows, of that he shall also reap. If he sows to the flesh, then of the flesh he shall reap destruction. But if a man sows to the Spirit, then of the Spirit he shall reap eternal life. That means God's going to judge you according to your deeds. The Bible says all men must stand before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or evil. You're going to be judged by God. Uh, you're living like there's no God in heaven, but you better wake up and seek the living God. I'm telling you, the Bible says, it says, for this is the whole duty of man, that you would fear God and keep his commandments. It says, for God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. God's keeping track of what you're doing. He's going to judge you. He's going to throw your wicked self in hell unless you repent. Unless you call on the name of the Lord in sincerity. Unless you turn from your wicked ways, Cincinnati, every one of you will be cast into the lake of fire. And that's why we want you to repent for your own sake. Because we, we care about you. Oh, we want you to go to heaven. We don't want you to be deceived with the devil and his angels. We don't want you to be deceived with wicked America. Oh, unless you repent, Cincinnati. Yeah, you better turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says he's coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on those who do not know God. And on those who do not obey the God. It's not enough to say I'm a Christian. You've got to live as a Christian. You've got to walk in faith. That's what we're here to say is that a man is justified by faith. But what is faith? Does faith cause you to smoke weed? No. Faith calls you to obey the Bible. And the Bible says Jesus Christ is the author of eternal salvation to those who obey Him. If you don't obey Him, you're not a child of God. He said you're either going to obey sin leading to death, or you're going to obey unrighteousness, the righteousness leading to life. What are you obeying? If you're in sin, you're a child of the devil. You need to be washed in the blood. 
Christ came to change you. That's why he died on the cross. That's, that's why you could be a wicked Catholic and go to heaven. Catholics go to hell. Don't you see they live in drunkenness? Don't you see they live in hypocrisy? They dress immodestly. They live like the world because they are the world. They're deceived by false religion. That's why you get drunk. Don't be deceived with the fake Christianity. You gotta be filled with the Spirit. You gotta be a new creature. You gotta live holy. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. We're here to proclaim the truth. Jesus came to deliver you from all iniquity so that he can present unto himself a peculiar people zealous for good works. That's why he came, to set you free from your sins. So you wouldn't be a smoker anymore. You wouldn't be a pothead, a drunkard, a porn addict. You would come out of that mess and serve the living God in spirit and in truth. That's the good news. Amen. You don't have to go to hell. I don't care who you are. You're not, you're not, it's not too late for you. God's got a plan for your life. I used to be a drug addict. I used to run down here on these streets like I was suicidal, hitting drugs on these back streets. Guess what? Now I preach the living word. Now I see people saved from drugs. Now I'm part of the solution in Christ. But without Christ, you have no hope, Cincinnati. Without Christ, you're perishing. Your families are being destroyed. Your marriages are being ripped apart. There's no hope for the wicked, says my God. There's no peace. For you and your sins, you got to get right. You got to get serious about God. Draw near to God, Cincinnati. Every one of you will be judged individually for your sins. You need to be washed from your sin. You need to be forgiven. You need to be set free by the power of God through faith in His blood. See, Jesus died on the cross and shed His blood so that you can be free. So you can be washed clean. And go and live a life for Him in the service of God. That's what Christians do. Christians live like the Bible says to live. That's how you know if you're a Christian or not. You line up with the Bible. The Bible says, "My this will all know that you are my disciples if you love one another." Love one another. 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 Love one another
That's what Jesus, that's how Jesus taught us about sin. Get, he made it. Uh, and guess what? God will do it. God will save you from your sin. Not in your sin. You can't be saved looking at porn. Are you crazy? God's going to run a bunch of porn addicts into heaven. That wouldn't be heaven. That would be hell. Jesus Christ came to set you free. Jesus Christ came to deliver you from your sin. And that's why. And I got saved, man. Jesus is real. You're born again. Yeah, he filled me with the Holy Ghost. He saved me in jail. At once. He saved me, man, in jail. Read the Bible. Don't go to hell, man. Read your Bible. He saved me. He's real. He'll deliver you from alcohol. You remember, Wolf? I used to beat myself about every night. I was the Sorry, biggest right. drunk in Cincinnati. But Jesus Christ came and gave me the Holy Ghost because I, I was crying out to God. See, that man remembers me when I was a drunkard. I was a wild man. I used to run these streets like I was going to die every night. And guess what? Jesus cared about me. Amen. And Jesus cares about you. He don't want you to perish in hell. That's right. He don't want you to be destroyed with this devil. That's right. He wants you to go to heaven. Oh, some God sent me out here to tell you there's a God who cares for you. A God who sent his son to be spit on and beat and ripped to shreds and put on a cross and crucified. Not so that you can continue to sin, but that you can be set free by the power of God. And that's what we're here to say. I'm a nobody. I'm a, a, I was a drug addict. I was a drunkard. I, I didn't have any future. I knew I was going to prison or, or I was going to die. And I called on the name of the Lord. I'm going to read this Bible. And I won't stop reading this Bible. And God kept encountering me. God kept speaking to me. And God kept showing me that he was with me. And I had to continue on. He doesn't want to give up. Most people don't continue in the faith. And they give up and they go back to the end because it's too hard, but you gotta be tough. The Bible says you have to overcome your sin. He says, you will overcome to be my son and I will be his God. I'm gonna say, but the fearful to be impossible and the sexually immoral and the drunkards and the murderers, we're gonna be passed down with the law and to the lake of fire. Yes, God is warning you. He said a, he did it. He said a sacrifice for you. He said a son. But you have to respond by repenting and believing in the gospel. Jesus said, repent and believe in the gospel. The time is at hand. Christ is coming back. You see how wicked it is out here? Everybody's smoking weed and getting drunk like there's no God in heaven. But God sees what you're doing. There's a record being kept to your friend. You better repent. You better flee from the wrath to come. Because it's going to be too late. You're going to wake up in hell. Like the rich man in Luke 16. He woke up in hell. There was no more chances. You see, time had wound up. They partied it up too long. They, they, they passed up the chances too long. Be hell is real. Please, learn to cry God today. Repent and get right with God.